So I'm at the Church of All Saints in Bange. And this is a really old church. And if you look on the outside, you can see just how much work it's had done on it over the years. From the paperwork, it dates from the 11th century. And I noticed a few things straight away, like this blocked up type of small window. And there's an original Norman window that's been blocked up. And it's had some serious subsidence or movement. So to put in a tie beam, you've got one either side of oak. It's had a lot of restoration work done on it over the years. And you can see it's still got some issues. But anyway, it's here. The cemetery is well maintained. From what I read, it's not actually a church that's used. For service anymore. So as we enter the nave, And then we've got the chancel in the foreground. So we've actually got some lights here. So this church is owned and run by the Church's Conservation Trust, which is a national charity. And they um, look after 340 historic churches, which are no longer used for regular worship. So donations are welcome. So as you enter, you have the visitor book and a charity box, which is good for people who want to donate for preservation. And I did notice an extremely old looking, which I had to show you, font. Now this, you can just see the, the age of it. It's been, originally it had all been squared off. It's been knocked about. You can see if you look down the line, you can see where the corners are, but it's all been knocked about so much. And it's lead lined. And you can actually see scrape marks where over the perhaps a thousand years, I would say up to, vessels have been pulled in and out. And there's some technical drawings, so it's, it's been a fair bit of work done on it. This was done by University of Manchester in 76. They've done a detailed drawings of it. And then over here is a display which goes on to talk about the trust for the preservation. And you can see some of the recent repairs serious rot there, the belfry he said, rebuilt looking good and all the roof and so on so on. So it was in a bit of a state, you can see it there. And very interesting here, I've exposed some 13th century paintings which are visible. So date wise simply going by the book but um, so what it's saying is the oldest part is the base of the arch in front of us either side of that left and right is 11th 12th century so basically all of this is Norman And it looks like this wall, which is the um, north wall, you can see where the joint goes down there. And the same on this side. So all of this is 12th century. You can see how the doorway have reduced it in height.
and um, as we walk through, so we have a strood here, which originally the stairs would have gone up, and they believe there may have been a balcony above with a religious screen, and this is all ripped out. And the Reformation. It's like a stairway that goes to nowhere, really, isn't it? It's strange. And it's possible that above it, they think possibly above these beams, there was another floor. I'm not sure. Possibly. Could have been a room up there as well. And um, they were talking about restoration that's gone, and you can see brickwork. I think that was from the 16th century. Over the years, you can see, put some tiles in the top there. So we go into the chancel. This is 13th century. It's really complicated because these walls of the chancel are 13th century. And there in front is the painting, which is a doom painting. Uh, the Last Judgment, and it's a tiny fragment is still there. They're talking about the strewed screen here was all destroyed, according to the book, around 1540s. So just the staircase and the tiny piece of painting survived, it's a reminder. So this wall, 13th century and same with this wall here and then it looks like it goes into 18th century so interesting this so this section here and the east wall yeah it's gonna have focus east wall and you can see all the work that's been done up there it's continuing I guess got clay tiles that are lavered in with lime big beams got some memorials here 17th century in Latin so I can't read that 19th century around Napoleonic times, 1804. This one's really interesting. 17th century. So a lot of money been spent. You can see the crest up there. This is all made in uh, marble, I think. And they're giving a translation. Uh, it says, in the, me in the memory of Mary, the virtuous wife, of George Moore, rector of the parish, and Charles, their only child. She was the daughter of Justinian, Chamtonius of Rotham. And then it goes on and on. There's a paragraph there which you can pause and read if you wish. So, <clears throat> incredibly old historic church. I believe the brass chandelier was donated by the Ball family. Still hangs there. It was a local farmer. We can go up into the pulpit. And you can actually feel the history here as you come up here. Um, today, Vange has a modern church, which is Father David, I believe he's called. He um, he runs it, and he's also the priest of Bowes Gifford, which is halfway between Pitsy and um, Canby Island. So there's a little stairs there that goes up to the 
balcony which I'm not allowed to go to. And at one point someone's done a lovely looks like a painting and it shows a porch which used to be on the stand porch which no longer exists. Done really nice actually. Don't know if it's got a date on it. No, I can't see one. Doesn't look too old, never know. There's a National War Graves um, outside as well. I, I did read there was some naval and military personnel buried here. I'm not sure where. We're going to have a quick walk around. So you can see the tiles. You can see the tiny bell tower. This church has, um, over the years, has gone out, undergone a lot of restoration, a lot of vandalism. And you can see over there, Venge. It's quite a hilly place. You can see this is the most recent addition, 18th century. You can see a combination of ragstone and brickwork. And the big tie beams they're put in. A big buttress there to hold it all up. Hold it, I don't know what that is exactly. It's a strange looking something. Don't know. And there's the other tie beam. Which would be cheaper to use a big lump of wood and a rod. Big piece of oak. And um, looks like this is the original section of 12th century and then this was added later and yeah it's a very good spot to build a church originally it would be on a hill I read that it was marshy area originally and then go back and turn the lights off So I hope you enjoyed that. Showing the porches now, you can actually see the footings of it. A bit of post there and a the post there. Right. Can I shut the lights off? It's one of these lovely churches that's open, so it's worth a visit if you like old churches. Thanks for viewing.